Hey guys, Isaac back with another protein snack review. Today we've got the Hot Whey. This is from Bulk Nutrients again. Uh, this is basically the hot chocolate of uh, protein land, I guess. Um, so on the back here, stats-wise, you're looking at, it says 473 kilojoules, uh, whatever that is, divided by four, like 100 and sort of 10, 15 calories, something like that. Uh, you're looking at 20.5 grams of protein, so absurd amount of protein in this. You got uh, 0 0.9 grams of fat, which is nothing. And then you're looking at 5.1 grams of carbohydrates. So again, pretty much nothing there for the carbohydrates. I'm looking at the ingredients on the back of the list here, but it seems pretty much just to be sort of just protein, like whey protein, uh, with a little bit of skim milk and some flavoring and sweetener in it. So I'm sure it's not gonna taste too bad, but if you wanted to maybe you know, do it on cheaper or on the budget, you could probably just get whey and maybe mix it in or something like that. Um, so they say mix it in with like, uh, put the whole sachet in, and then mix it with milk or, or, or water. Uh, because the fat's so low on this, carbs are so low, you could almost get away with mixing this in with full cream milk if you wanted to. And then you could chuck it in the microwave and heat it up like that. I'm sure it tastes a lot better. Things mixed with full cream milk normally do. Um, so I've sort of gone for a bit of a half-half combination. I did it like I would do it if I were to actually use the product. So I put about 100 ml of um, skim milk in there. So it's pretty much got no fat. You're looking at skim milk per cup or 250 mils is like 10, like one 10 basically. So 10 protein, one fat, 10 carbohydrates. Um, so you're looking at probably, it's probably getting an extra five maybe grams of protein in it, maybe an extra like 0.25 fat and an extra five grams of carbs in this. So just from that skim milk. And then I filled the rest up with just boiling water, mixed it together. It's nice and sort of frothy consistency on top, uh, but that's normally what happens when, pretty much if you ever cooked with protein powder, you know the kind of look it gets. Um, so let's give it a taste. Hot chocolate, you sort of can't go wrong with it. A little bit chunky, because I haven't mixed it, but I did follow, I guess, the instructions and I mixed it in and then I mixed it again, but might want to chuck this even in a blender or something like that, like a Nutribullet if you have something like that. A um, little bit chunky, but I don't mind those kind of chunks, but I guess if you want it nice and smooth, you'd probably have to work on it a little bit. Other than that, it does take, uh, taste like hot chocolatey. Um, let's go again. Sort of like a hot Milo, I guess. It's smooth, it's really nice. I don't feel like I'm losing anything by not having that, like um, a lot of carbohydrates in it, a lot of sweetener. Uh, again, I do have that extra milk in there, so it is tasting a bit better. Like if you did it with water, just like protein powder, if you just have your shaker with water after your workout, it tastes okay, but it's nothing too great. If you actually mix it with like full cream milk or something like that, it tastes pretty damn good. So I think this is the same thing here. Uh, depending on how many macros and how many cal calories you have left, uh, either in the morning or in your diet to mix something like this in um, will depend on what kind of thing you mix it with. Is it skim milk? Is it full cream? Soy, whatever you guys want to mix it with. So, um, but again, this it's pretty much just like having a scoop of protein powder, um, hot chocolate, and just putting sort of hot water in to make it hot chocolate. So uh, you can't go wrong with something like this. The, it's got a massive amount of protein in it, pretty much zero fat in it, um, and a little bit of carbohydrates, which is normally the highest sort of threshold of um, macronutrients is that most people have, unless you're on a keto diet or something like that. Um, so yeah, couldn't recommend this enough. It's a great tasting, like warm drink for these w winter months. It's got an <clears throat> obscene amount of protein in it for that. It's sort of like a protein shake of hot chocolates. Um, yeah, really like it. Uh, the probably, I guess, a negative thing for it would be it's not mixing properly sort of thing. You'd have to work on it to get the chunks out. I don't mind having chunks in there. I'm a bit weird like that, but um, if you were wanting it to be like really smooth, maybe blender or something like that, or probably just do a better job mixing than I did. So uh, rating for this, you can't go wrong with a sort of protein shake of uh, hot chocolates. So I think this is gonna be a 7.8. It's got great stats, tastes nice. There's nothing you can really do wrong with it. So um, definitely check these guys out if you want to have like a nice warm hot chocolate in the morning. And uh, yeah, stick around for tomorrow. We got another different kind of flavor, chai-ish kind of flavor if you like that tomorrow. So make sure you like the video uh, and subscribe if you're on YouTube. 
Uh, and yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching.